minute I go and listen to them. It's quite a fact, it does a lot to do. I'm not finding this tour out, otherwise I fear it is going to be killed. There's other hyena crawling all around us. There are a few hyena in the general area. That could be that the other two followed the adults. And then, as far as I know, it has the sightings that we've had have been quite confusing, so hopefully we'll be able to get a count in the next few hours spent with them. But as far as I can tell, there are 10 adults and 11 pups, bringing the total up to 21. That is my count from yesterday afternoon, when we spent a bit of time with them on Arethusa. But it still remains unconfirmed. I'm trying to get to differentiate between the sexes of the, of the adults, figure out which ones are sub-adults, and then get a, an accurate count on the pups. But that is what I think is happening. And since we're talking about the adults, Scott is still with them, so let's head across to him. Come back, everyone. And the adults have just returned. They obviously went to go and have a closer look for that si any sign of that hyena. But no luck. And now they're returning to the area of where all the pups are. And we just got a question through from Jessica. Good morning and welcome. She'd like to know a little bit more as to why these wild dogs would have attacked the hyena. And Jessica, all carnivores in Africa will attack and kill one another when the opportunity arises. Now, the reason for that is mainly competition for food, but also that hyena would have also posed threats to these pups. So, lion are kind of at the top of the predator food chain and everything else below it. And then it depends on numbers to a degree. Even lion, when they're alone, could be outmatched by a pack of wild dog or a clan of hyena. In this case, the wild dog were heavily outnumbering the hyena and that's why it got into trouble. And look at this. Absolutely spectacular way to start the day. She's got Tebs on camera. And Jerry, one of the new directors, on the back as well. And we're going to hop you onto her vehicle so you can get to see the perspective from there. <laughs> These wild dog pups are just one of the most entertaining things that we have out here. I can see them sprinting all over the place, racing around. Scott's on the move again, and he is sitting with the stragglers of the pack. <laughs> Playing a serious game of chase and catch, and I guess tag is what you'd call it. And a couple of lazy pups behind. <laughs> Hurry up, guys, everybody's leaving. Off you go. Yes, well done. We are going to be spoiled with some beautiful views here. Ah, look at this. And if these wild dogs continue heading in the direction that they are, they are bound to flush some kind of prey. And they are one of the most successful of all the predators when it comes to strike rates because of their immense speed and their stamina. But we are going to get a few more views of the stragglers of the pack, mainly the pups. Oh no, this elephant still chasing me. There's an elephant chasing me on the left. But you'll clearly be able to hear. And it has just popped into frame. It is behind some thick bush there. You can just see its tusk sticking out. And let's hope that we don't get any displaced aggression. 
which basically means when one animal is frustrated due to another one's presence, it may take it out on us. Can you believe how loud that trumpeting is? Let's see, you should be able to get another view here of its funny tail getting held up, and that's a great feature to look for. When an elephant's upset, it may not need to be trumpeting, but it'll hold its tail up like that, like some kind of a magic wand. And <laughs> you'll probably find the wild dogs are teasing it and playing around with it a little bit. Welcome back, everyone. And we've got lucky we've relocated with the rest of the pack. These are all the pups. Jamie's just a little bit ahead of us. I'm going to keep updating her. Jamie, most of the pack and pups are looking to head down Ingwe Alley, just to let you know. You can still hear the elephant displaying his displeasure. What a wonderful morning. Wild dog hyena interaction like I've never seen before. Now wild dogs chasing elephant. They ran past that beautiful sighting of the giraffe earlier. They're taking us to all the places where we want to go. And you know what's not unlikely? They could very well take us to a leopard. So be ready for that. We'll see. Jamie could well be there to meet us. She's done a big loop around, probably at breakneck speed. But I'm told she's been stopped by a herd of elephants. It's prevented her getting to where she wants to go. What's this individual seen or heard? Look at those massive ears. Mainly used to relocate other pack members. We're going to send you over to Jamie now. Racing around to get to the other side of the wild dogs. And there, is, there one is. This is one of our elephants. Oh, she's cross. And the dog wants to get past the rest of the pack, but she's not going to let him. Look at her bouncing. Oh. Dashing away. She really wants to get past the rest of the pack. This is our elephant with the snared trunk. We know her well, we've met her before. She certainly isn't gonna let me get past. Hello puppies. Hello puppies. Awesome. Oh, one of them's got a sore foot. Hello, gorgeous dogs. Wow, and Vicky, I'm thrilled to hear that this is the most wonderful action you've seen in the two years you've been watching. Oh, look at that affection between them. It is absolutely incredible. There isn't a thing like wild dogs for the action that we have. And I'm sitting, staring at them. There's one that's walked. I could have touched him as he walked beside the car. Oh, and they're lying down now. How wonderful is this? Touching noses. Wow. There is nothing that gets your adrenaline pumping like following behind wild dogs. It's incredible. We've, we've had the most incredible wild dog stuff. Well, it's a combination of good parenting, 
as well as huge fortune that has allowed both packs of wild dog in this area to keep so many pups. Usually, in my history with these animals, the pups are killed on almost a weekly basis until only one or two are remaining. Oh, one's got a big piece of the tail there. You get it. That's it. <laughs> oh, it looks like another two are having tug of war just behind a little bush though, sadly.